If it's real, then it's hip hop. It's Bible Full Source Magazine. Where are you? This is Mike B with the Five Full Source Magazine. Right now we're here with the original four, and they're doing a lot of great things in the community. And nobody best to tell you what they're doing than themselves. So I'm going to let Kevin and his partner uh, go on and let y'all know what's going on. Uh, let us know what are you doing how you, with the silence of the violence and how you feel about the violence on the streets and what is the original four is doing to help make it a better, uh, safer place. Uh, for us, what we're doing, we're trying to reach a lot of uh, youths and stuff, doing stuff like that. Like, uh, for us, like on the outside of the original four, uh, I deal with youths for us, like uh, with AAU basketball, stuff like that, traveling basketball teams. We try to do for us, like, uh, mostly like going around, I do a lot of going around talking to the public for us, oh. like uh, at playgrounds, dealing with the kids, okay. for us, the speeches for that. Like a, but um, other than that, all you can do is just really just pray and just hope that our race just change with the uh, use with the violence. Right, because right. it's got to start with the youth, but at the same time, we already know that a lot of it dominoes from the top on exactly. down, and we got to be careful what messages that we send out there, because if we hit the bottom, and whatever's going on in the bottom, you had to start from the top. So I think we all, and we're yeah. taking our part. And we owning up to that. That's why exactly. we're doing the things that we're doing. And I really appreciate oh, yeah. the original four tomorrow, the side of violence. They have us out here to help share our part. As an urban media, our job is to get it out there to be heard. And believe me, we get almost a million hits a month. So it's going to be seen all the way around the world. You heard me? If my PNG Entertainment is challenging all the artists in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying, from PNC, Mill X, Chopper, uh, 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 Black House Entertainment, you mystical, uh, no limit, cash money, you, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we are here for the city, you know what I'm saying? This is not just where we do music, we are here with the community, we are here for the community, for the city. So if you hear me right now, and you will be watching this video right now, Holler at us, holler at 5 and 4 Source Magazine, because it could be doing it big with the gun bag, gun bag, whatever it is, holler at them. We in the building. 5 and 4 Source Magazine might be the ground of spit Oh yeah, we in there, baby. We in there. Back at you with the Do Man Street Game. I got my dude here with me. He's going to introduce himself to y'all, let y'all know who he is and what it is he's doing in the community, okay? But it's the Do Man Street Game. So let us know what you're doing, baby. Oh, my name is William Baptiste. To my left over here is Robert Jarvis, Damian Clark. Uh, we started back in 1996. We hit the street in 97. And you know, everybody think uh, all second line groups is, is second line and dirty up the street, but that's not true. We are a community-based uh, organization. We're all about the kids. In fact, the year, the year we came out in 97, we went dormant in 99 due to the fact we threw a block party for the kids. We're about the kids. And see, everybody don't understand social and aid. A social mean is to socialize with what's going on with the community. Aid is to find out what the aid of the community is, you know. We paid a couple of light bills. We done got together, had meetings, and, and put some money together to uh, give people grocery baskets in, in the neighborhood. That's what the community is about, a social and aid club, you know. Right. It's not just uh, about turning up the street and, and you know, second line and, 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 you know, they think all they do is party and drink beer. That's, that's not true. Back at you. I'm here with Henry. He's director of the youth program with the Sounds of Violence and tells a little bit how they're working with the youth and try to help us get where their mindset is at and what kind of things they're thinking about and do it to the violence and everything that's going on in the streets. So, can you tell us a little bit about 
Dad, if you let us know about the mindset, if you can help okay, us out well, with that. What's going on is I was brought on by Miss Tamara, who's also with the Silence is Violence program. I, um, I'm the director of the, the, uh, the summer camp program and what's going on. We're going to have like a Monday to Thursday schedule where we have a fun day on Thursday. And Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to have these things going on with art. Meaning we're going to have them learning how to play instruments, learning how to um, do spoken word, learning how to uh, do sketch art, just everything that's in tune. And to talk about the mindset of them, I'm originally from New Orleans, so I was one of the ones who was fortunate enough to make it out. And it is possible. It's possible that um, you give a program like 504 Source Magazine, um, Silence is Violence, and it, it helps you out a whole lot. And you, you, can, you can make it out. That's that's the whole point I want to get to. And I just want to thank you all for this opportunity for letting right. us speak about it. Right, right. so uh, and, uh, is everyone already signed up for the camp? You have space available? Oh, we it? have plenty of space available. The thing that's going on is you only have to you only pay you only have to pay one time. There's a registration fee of ten bucks, and then everything else is on us. We have free food, and the only other thing you have to do is just bring your kids there. That's the only other thing. And pick them up on and time. Pick them huh? up on time. The camp's gonna be running from like June 13th to sometime in July. Uh, it's going to be at Charter Street around the Sound Cafe. It's close to uh, St. Claude. And um, I have a bunch of flyers, a bunch well, of things number, you can pick up. Can uh, if you want to contact anyone, I, since I'm the director, my um, email address is Mr. That's Mr. Davis. at gmail.com. It's Mr. Period, D A V I S. Period, 1102 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, you can contact me. The, con the emails come straight to my phone. I'm back at you. I'm with Sylvester with the Pigeon Town Steppers. The day we're out here with Silence of Violence, we got a consolidation of Social and Pleasure Club. They really came out. They got Jumping Jacks. We got music. We got the show. We got NOPD. We got everybody out here, man. We got free food and everything going on. So, Sylvester, our, our goal it is to talk about violence and your place and what it is as a group and organization are y'all doing to try to help get some of the violence off the streets as well as your opinion on silence is violence. How you feel about it? Yeah, I think silence and violence is a, a very important movement. You know what I'm saying? The Pitton Town Stepper thing so also. That's why we uh, we collaborated with the Silence is Violence Second Line Task Force, you know, to try to do our part. And we basically do our part in the community, too, from in Pigeon Town, you know. We have uh, crime out marches, you know. We have silence and violence marching on our own sometimes, you know, just to try to, because we have a lot of murders going back in our area, too, yeah. all over the city. But, you know, when it's happening in your neighborhood, you try to do what you could, you know. So we involved in the community, and we involved with a, uh, another project called uh, the Leander Street uh they're trying to start a uh, like an after school program for the kids and everything. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get something involved like that in our neighborhood, you know. Okay. Yeah, because as a 504 source, uh, we're doing our part to get things in the community. And my personal mission is to break down that barrier wall of the name wall, tier wall, and third wall. We all are people of New Orleans and of African descent. Right. My hood is your hood. That's right. There's nothing goes on in your hood that don't goes on in mine. You come in my hood, you're going to thank you in your own backyard. Yeah. So let's start treating it like that. Yeah. We're going to fight for something that we own. And that's ourselves, our pride, and a better future for our youth. Right. I'm not fighting for a world. You know, I'm fighting for a better tomorrow for my kids, man. And right. we all got to break that. That's my goal. The breakdown, I mean, I'm proud to say I'm from the land war, yeah. but I know if I say I'm from the land war, I'm separating myself from those others who from the third war and the fifth war. No, we got to do this as a collective. Right. The struggle that we have struggled to get to where we are struggling will always be a struggle until we begin struggling together. And being from the third war, fourth war, fifth war, just say we're people from New Orleans of African descent. Let's make it happen, baby.